In this video, I will briefly introduce confounding bias. Say we're interested in knowing whether drinking coffee causes lung cancer. We go out and ask a bunch of people whether they drink coffee, then follow them over time to see if they develop lung cancer. Here are the results. We find that those who drink coffee are five times more likely to develop lung cancer than those who do not drink coffee. But one thing we did not account for is that people who drink coffee are more likely to smoke cigarettes than people who do not drink coffee. In fact, in our data, people who drink coffee are five times more likely to smoke cigarettes, and smoking cigarettes clearly causes lung cancer. So we had an apparent finding that drinking coffee increases risk for lung cancer by a factor of five. But it was really a third variable, smoking, that caused the lung cancer, not the drinking coffee. This is called confounding bias. Confounding bias occurs when our results mislead us to think that one variable causes another, but it is really a third variable that causes our dependent variable. And this third variable also happens to be related to our independent variable. Just like in the case of coffee and lung cancer in our example, where it was really the cigarette smoking that caused the lung cancer, and people who drink coffee have a greater likelihood of smoking, which gave the illusion that coffee caused increased risk of lung cancer.